Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Remember, it's been skipping the old updates and giving all the interesting things that we did with the intro, which help us to grow what we call our history. You are natural. Go and show them that you deserve the job. Yes, let us talk about what we call termination. In the Gulf countries, it may be termination in Dubai, it may be termination in Saudi Arabia, it may be in Kuwait, it may be in Oman. Wherever you are stationed, wherever you are as your workplace. We have two, we have two scenarios when we talk about termination. Termination may be either you are being terminated by your employer or you try to terminate or you decide to terminate what we call the contract. Terminating the contract, it may either be in a number of ways or why that may happen. For example, let's say for example, this is a situation whereby the employer breaches what you call the contract or breaches what was signed in the contract. And contrary, on the other side, when you breach what you sign in that contract with the employer. So both parties at the same time, you have rights over one another. But where, this, where the circumstances or where one would have what you call an upper hand is when you breach the, you breached the terms and contract, the terms and the rules or the procedures that we are signing the contract. That is why it's always very important. When we get to these contracts, let us read them thoroughly and understand thoroughly well and know what is exactly the contract exercise me. What are my rights in the contract? What is the employer's rights in the contract? Yes, when you terminate the contract with the employer, let's say for example, you are the employee, you decide to terminate your contract. You decide to say, I'm not completing the agreed period of signing the contract with the employer. That employer has the right to demand what you call compensation for the rest of the period that you need to finish the contract. Or he has a right not to pay you your benefits. He has the right not to pay your salary. He has the right not even to buy you a ticket back to your home country. So that's what you should exactly understand when you come to terminating the contract. That is on the side of you, the employee, when you are terminating that contract from that company that hired you from your home country. It may be for some reasons which are unforeseen, or it may be some reasons that are unavoidable in one or the other. But when we look at some reasons, may be weighed on the scale, what is the magnitude of that problem that is forcing you to resign? That's what you should also know and understand. Yes, I'm resigning because my health is not well. I'm not fit anymore to work. Or I got an accident when I'm at workplace. That is understanding. The cost will be shared between you, the employee, and the employer. But under after the intervention of what you call the ministry that is responsible for that cause, one or the other. Then when we look at situation two, whereby the employer or the sponsor himself is terminating your contract. Under what circumstances terminating you? Maybe you are breaching what was agreed upon in the contract. Yes, they said the, the sponsor has the right to terminate you. If you are again getting against what was agreed in the contract, without even a lieu of payment to you in any way or the other. When you forcefully breach the confidentiality or the confidential information of the company to another company or to another sub party, then definitely you are subject to termination without even payment, even if when you go to the Minister of Labor. Even if when you go where, 
unless that employer is back to humanity and say, okay, fine, I'm not terminating you, I'll definitely give you a ticket to go back to your country. That's another advantage that you can enjoy. Or you have, that is how you are so lucky at that time that you can enjoy that. Let us look at a situation whereby you are terminated. You do not have a termination letter. Your employer decides to terminate you, no without even a termination letter. You yourself, you don't even demand a termination letter. Definitely you have to exit the country. Because if you don't exit the country, he will make a fall up and search on you, on the authorities. Why? Because he does not want you to use his visa outside. So that would be another issue for you in, to know. So know the two terms. When am I supposed to terminate my contract with my sponsor? When or what are the requirements or what do I have to follow when I want to terminate my contract with my employer? And what does the employer have to follow when he wants to terminate a contract of the employee? The procedures. Maybe this employer does not have any more work. We've seen what is happening in most of the Gulf countries. The employer does not have extra contracts. He will decide to give most of the people off to what you call vacation or what you call forced vacations. He will give you the forced vacation because he does not have work at that time. So it will just be the understanding between you and your employer to see whether you can sit down on the table. Either you go for the vacation or you cancel out completely, which is either going to benefit the either two parties. So as you are trying to get those contracts, let us try to thoroughly read and understand what is entitled to us, what are our rights, and what are the rights of the employee. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember this next, by the way, if you saw first time to come across this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to support. I always give you this information. I always share this information. Let us get to share together. Let us try to improve one another in every single day. See you again in the next video. Remember, it's made special. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share.